Hey Suzu, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be playing Legend of Lagaya. It's another game I haven't played since I was a kid. Another, one, another game I didn't finish either. But looking back on all these games just makes me realize why I didn't have time to finish them. There's just so many games. Ooh, cutscene. Village? Glowy... Is that supposed to be glowing? Glowing green? Is that like a tree or something? Alright, ugly monster. Looks like uh, a summon skull from Yu-Gi-Oh. Dude's got a hidden blade on his arm. That's a tree. Tree of life. Give me your strength. Yggdrasil? Maybe? Wait, this is a different location, though. All these trees linked? And they're all taking power from the tree? The tree of mana. Those claws, like uh, those fangs on his little arm thing, look like they just get in the way. More likely he'd stab himself than anything else. Uh, sure you can. Punch you right in the fucking dick. And, uh, you want to be what's his face? Kazuya? Yeah, see those fangs? That's terrible. Boom, I hit the ground and it's all spiky. I'm an earthbender. That guy did the least out of anyone. Alright, new game. And a slow loading time, though. Yes, God created the heavens, the earth, and the seas. After creating all the things in the universe, God created humans to rule over this world. Yet while possessing the wisdom of God, humans were physically weaker than the wild beasts, and impulsive in spirit. Many times did the humans come close to dying out forever. Concerned about the humans' future, God gave them a mighty force with which to aid them. A tree. Couldn't have just made them stronger to begin with? Why you make beasts that are stronger than the humans, then? If humans are supposed to be ruling over this world and shit. It was the Seru. And it looks like penises with wings? Since the dawn of human memory, known as history, humans lived together with creatures known as Seru. Seru lived together with humans, always obeying them and making the humans many times stronger than before. And then one of us is going to betray the other. Probably the humans are going to betray them. That's... is that a vehicle? That's really weird. Looks like a chameleon. When not worn by a human, Seru looks like a stone figure. However... Uh-huh. Da 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 da, a long time between texts. On touching a human, a Seru changes form, gives that human secret abilities. Not really secret when everyone knows about it. Human can lift objects heavier than itself, even fly in the air at will. That's a slow train. I would not ride that train. Take you years to get your destination. Over that era came to an end. Did someone steal all the Seru? Peering out of nowhere, the mist covered the land, bringing an end prosperous, bringing to an end prosperous symbiosis between humans and Seru. The Seru rebelled. Ah, they've been brainwashed by the mist. And now they're attacking. But how? Oh, that's how. They attached themselves and took over their brains and turned them into beasts. So they're really just humans. It was the twilight of humanity until it wasn't. That's the story of this game. You turn around and you fix everything. I mean, how do they protect each other against all the beasts? This place is kind of a dump. They got a titan wall around there. And how do they keep the mist out? I thought the mist was everywhere. Me and Mist just go right up over the wall. Ooh, -ee, those graphics are crispy. Feel like I'm right back in 1991. Yeah, that's, uh, who knows? I forget their name. 
Blue hair, though, so you know their main character. Really weird proportions. Uh, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn. Sure. I'm going to this other hut. It's pretty meaty, mediocre village. I've got this tree. Is that tree keeping the fog mist out? That tree keeping the mist out? You gonna go pray to the tree like you do every day? You have to collect this power every single day? Village elder. I knew you would be here. You're here every day. You always like this tree. Everyone else hates it, though. We can become a hunter. Sure. Why not? But what are you hunting? I mean, I thought you can't leave the village. The big wall, beast outside, it cheer you up? Well, that, that's what the tree does. So I'm praying to it. You do nothing. Don't even like you. Level 1, 180. Love the Genesis tree, too. Good for you. When you go hunting outside the wall, bring me back a souvenir. I will. It's called food. What other souvenir do you need? Yeah, let's look at this map of the Rim Elm. Oof. What part do you want to see? The memory statue. Where? Is that inside this cave? Oh, it's a save point. No, I think that's all I need to see. That's good enough. Alright, so... Ah, pre-scripted event. Green hair? What kind of weird characters have green hair? What kind of weird characters have blue hair? About the hunting clothes for you to wear tomorrow. Almost finished, but I have to check some of the measurements. Sure, go for it. Can't be wearing so ridiculous clothes that don't fit. it will mess up the hunt. Why don't you just do the measurements now? I mean, do I have the measurements at my house? Doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm going to the save point. Most important part of any game. Hey, what are you doing? This is my save point. Get out of here. Da, 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 da. Success! You gotta save yourself. Look, Vaughn, that is the memory statue. Memory statue will remember things for you. So it's like uh, Harry Potter when they take the memories out their brain and put them in that little thing, the little bowl. Talk to it to save important memories. Well, as far as I know, I don't have any of those. You're all so gross looking. Just walk right through the door and then open it over myself. So, if this is my house, are these like parents, sister, siblings, whatever? That Vaughn, I wonder what he's where he's wandering around. Not very far. I mean, it's a very small place. Have you ever seen it? To be the one making hunting clothes for your brother? Well, you look really young. I don't think you can. Can I ask you something? Do you like my brother? <laughs> uh, I knew it. Oh, she turned red. Red as a beat. So the answer is yes. Even her hair changed color. Jeez. May's been waiting for you this whole time. I don't think it took that long. I just went to the memory stone. Well, you gotta stick your arms out and stick your legs out. Turn your head around. I knew it. You've gotten bigger since last time I measured you. When was that? I mean, last year? You're almost as big as my father. Maybe bigger. It's amazing how quickly they grow. Miss Mr. Vell, little Nene. Oh, he's got a cane, I guess. 
Did he, like, turn in a chair, but the chair didn't turn with him? He's sitting on a table. Why are you sitting on a table? Oh, that, that is a chair. I'm sorry, Vaughn, but my hands are full. Listen to what you have to say later. You just got a book in front of you. You really can't listen, even though I don't know what I would say? Did you thank her properly? And so then her house all the way back over here. Wait, do I really have to go all the way around because of this stupid tree? That's ridiculous. Oh, it can run, though. It looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, came here to say thanks because people are annoying. Absolutely, that's the only reason. You rascal. Your hunting clothes only need a little more mending. What's in here? My clothes? Empty. Barren wasteland. You gonna say the same thing? Oh, you love sewing. Always mend your father's hunting clothes. With each stitch, I picture in my mind the person who will be wearing the clothes. After all, the clothes are important because they protect the people that are dear to you. Well, they'd have to be like some heavy-duty clothes to protect people from the beasts out there and animals. But it's just cotton clothes that won't really protect you from much. So you want me to go find your dad and be like, hey, she's worried about you. You gotta save yourself. Yes, I'm going hunting. How do I get to that point? Who is me again? Ha 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 ha! Shut up, kid. You don't know nothing about the world. You don't even know how to change your own pants. Ixus? I hear you're going out on the hunt tomorrow. Seem happy about it? You are happy about going outside the village, aren't you? There's no one here but old people and kids. All the old people created the kids then, I guess, which is kind of gross. Sure, you pathetic old fool. Story about something that happened many years ago when you were on the hunt. Caught much game, high spirits, so happy you dropped your guard. Wind change, mist came, and you were attacked. That's how you ended up like, what? I mean, I can't see. You got like five pixels on you, bro. Never underestimate the mist. Mist terrifying. Scary. You just need a big fan to blow it away. Oh, I'm on the beach. I don't know I could leap over the ledges like that. You were a child when you missed appeared, but now you're ready for the hunt. Time goes by so quickly. I taught you the techniques of Byron all your life. Do not forget them while hunting outside the village. Now then, you want something today? And to hear about Byron, god of strength and love. Outside Rim Elm is a temple devoted to Byron. There are many warrior monks devoted to Byron practice night and day. They renounce the world's dependence on Seru and work to polish their fighting skills. Many Byron warrior monks also travel the globe to spread the noble teachings of Byron. When visiting Rim, Rim Elm, I was trapped here by the mist, but you're still faithful to Byron. But it's my destiny to teach the young the teachings and fighting skills of Byron. What else you want? Secrets of fighting? Constant training. I shall teach you a little secret. Use your spirit effectively. You'll be unable to attack and thus be attacked. But your defensive force rises while you are accumulating spirit. Your next turn, you'll be able to inflict more attacks. This is a good strategy when fighting a formidable opponent. Alright. Mm. Might as well get some practice in. Now have the healing leaf. Now you are ready. Come at me, bro. Alright, let's see what this Byron's all about. We'll show you how to fight while engaging in an actual battle with no stakes. So how's an actual battle? Select begin. And attack. So you can choose auto and command. Alright, so let's try command. So it's like a fighting game where you put in the inputs. High, low, left. Use the directional buttons, then press the X button. Now select begin. So you begin, then select, and then begin again. Next is how to use items. Begin, item, kill leaf, select, begin. That is a lot of cheating. Now I'm going to get punched in the forehead. Oh, you didn't even attack. Spirit. Begin. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! 
Sounds like Ganondorf. Rudia! You did more damage that time. That's rude. Attack. Uh huh. Command. High, left, left. Oh, I got more attacks. Just like they said. Wait, wrong command? What do you mean wrong commands? How can there be a wrong command? Oh, there is, right there. High, low, high. Right. So I chose one more than you said, but you didn't say that was wrong, you jerk. Hey, you attacked first. Are you telling me to attack and you attack first? Ooh, new art. Double backflip, somersault, super kick, yeah! So does that mean you wouldn't get that art unless you practiced with them? You did well, that's enough for today. What else is you want? Nothing. I did all the things. Just checking off the list of all the things I should do. They're back! Oh, so you had to talk to him. Wait, were they running to a separate gate? You're telling me to stay away from the wall, but you got these kids running around? Oh wait, those are adults? They just look like children. By golly, Miss Molly. Your father's back. No. No, he's not. They just came here to tell you they chickened out and ran away. And all your fathers look the same. He's a bunch of clones? Oh, look. Is that... Juno. No, I don't know. That's why I asked. Father? No, father. You brought a stretcher with you just in case it got taken out? Or did you build that on the fly? Oh, look. Sad face. He didn't make it. Yeah, because the mist knows. It's catching in here. Juno was attacked by the Seru monsters, but didn't become a monster himself? Well, you sure did run fast enough, didn't you? Like, how'd you all make it out? It's not a Disney movie. That's not going to happen. Gee whiz. Yeah, that's how you comfort people. You say, get over it. They're there. Sad. Your slow pan of the camera. Village elder is going to say, oh no, it's dangerous. They didn't even bring back any food. The mist always takes away the people we love. I hate the mist. All my homies hate the mist. Yes, you will always have to live in fear forever. Unless you invent fans, that's the only way. Just big ol' industrial fan, blow the mist away. Don't worry about May, she's calmed down considerably. It'll be dark soon, we'll stay with May, go home, don't worry about her. Bye! Time to go home, get some rest, become a hunter. Gotta bring home some cheddar. Gotta hunt the mighty cheddar of the plains. You look sad, I understand. Juno was a kind man. Soon the mist will come, you must be tired, do you want to rest? Yeah, I got punched in the forehead by my teacher. Oof. Vaughn! Wake up! The mist is knocking at the door. Can't you hear that sound? Vaughn, wake up! Are you awake now? Listen carefully to that sound. I think it's coming from beyond the wall. That sounds like a really bad idea. Like, you already know what's outside the wall, right? That's a good son. Hurry back at the first sign of danger. Well, the knocking sound is the sign of danger. 
You absolute fool. I mean, look at all these individuals out here. They all know it's dangerous. Well, apparently they don't all know it's dangerous because they're standing around. You know, if that door opens, you're screwed. You can already see there's like a bunch of cracks and wares in the wall, so I don't know why you think it's going to hold forever. Look at that. Look at all those cracks. Puny humans. Ooh, he opened a portal. Ooh, he went ugly. Beautiful creatures, you humans. Living in fear of the mist, I live inside the mist. So you're saying you're not a Seru? You are but insects. The time has come to abandon your foolish resistance. Why didn't you just do this sooner? It's been ten years. You're Zeto? Zeto Kaiba. Come to bring the salvation of the mist to you miserable creatures. I'm gonna punch you. Yeah! No, Byron didn't save me. Accept the mist into your hearts. I'm gonna go hug the tree. Ooh, that is a big boy. Kinda ugly too, looks like Venom. He's gonna laser blast the place? Just like Attack of the Titans all over again. Or is it Attack on Titan? Even though the Titans are the ones attacking? Run! They're gonna... Ooh, there's mist. Which means there's gonna be Seru. Run to the tree! Run to the coast! Though technically, living by the coast, there would always be sort of mist fogginess? Weird. Seru, destroy that old eyesore of a tree! Yeah, what if the tree says no? They look like weird little chickens. Or, uh, what are those creatures? The ones that eat the dead? Oh, pecked her in the back. Pecking her butt. Save yourselves by accepting the serenity of the mist without resistance. Then you too can become beasts. I thought you said that the Seru take over people against their will. And now you said you gotta give consent? A Gimmerd with fire? Alright, so what if we uh Well he's high in the air and give him the right and give him the low or the left. Oh my face! Pop out fast! What do you think about that? The old pecker head? Left, right, high, hello. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't think this is going to turn out that well. Guarantee I'm supposed to lose here. Don't think I can run either. Sure, auto. You decide for me. You know what's best. You're at the game after all. Oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Attack automatically. Get him. Pop up. Ow. Oh, you didn't do the somersault this time. Alright, so give it the one more, and then I'll heal. Yep, now I'm in the danger. Danger zone. Give me that old healing leaf. It's like tea, but dry. I've got five more of these. You don't stand a chance. I'll wear them as a bracelet. Basically, immortality. Yeah, stare right in your soul. Ooh, I won. Like you said, humans don't stand a chance. 42 experience, that's a lot. I was expecting like six. Is that enough to level up though? Tutorial fight? Level two? Oh, well the lady's gone too. I'll help you out. You hold him there, the rest of you go somewhere safe. Like the tree. Vaughn! So glad to see you all alone. Came here to get away from the monsters. Notice that the mist doesn't come in here. Cause, yeah, it's scared of the tree. It's holy power. Well, if it's warm, does that mean you already touched it? Shouldn't you have become like superhuman or something? 
Bon, I know your name. Just like you know mine. You are Vaughn, are you not? Is that a coffin? Hey, the master dude got all the way up there. Read your thoughts, speaking to your mind. Meta, a raw Saru. So you like hardcore? You even better than the regular Saru? Why is that a choice? Like, what if you said no? You're like, oh, well, okay, well, I'm gonna dip then. By combining our powers, we will rid the whole world of the mist. Let us pursue the same destiny as human and Ra Seru working together. Yes. Again, why is that a choice? Doesn't make any sense. But ding, I'm on your wrist. You opened your mind, and I went on your wrist. Even though would went on your head would have made more sense the approaching mist is killing the tree so we got to kill the mist right back need the life force of the genesis tree to be strong so we must protect it hurry and assemble everyone here like all the villagers well she's here already all right so uh where's oh little random encounters Blorble, green slime. Well, you're pretty short, so we're gonna go low, low Ross area. Oh, that didn't take him out in one hit. That's a shame. Attack. Low, low Ross area again. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. Sink into the earth and disappear forever. Level up now. Now. Get even stronger. Get to level 99 in the village. Uh, status. So looking at 74 and a uh, next level is 121. Yeah, I guess you could figure it'd take a lot of experience to level up when you were getting that much. Anyone in here? Go to the tree. Go to the tree, dummy. What happened? The mist is here. You were gonna say nothing to worry about. Go to the tree, dummy. I mean, they're, they're already here. You can go to the tree. Why can't I say go to the tree? Really lock all your doors and windows? Like the tree told, not the tree, uh, Meta told you, bring everyone to the tree. I guess get everyone assembled at his house and then take him to the tree. Makes sense, too. You want to take his corpse? Eh, just let the monsters have him. You did a good thing. May must have been uneasy all by herself. Ah, oh, but if my cursed body were not crippled like this... While it's broken, all we can do is huddle together in fear. Go huddle around the tree. Do I really have to tell you this? Yes, it's a raw cereal. Go to the tree. I was I was just told you. Go. Oh, I guess I told everyone? At least you didn't have to run around the village doing that then. You just had to run to two places. Well, one technically. You and the Rossero, last hope, and trust you with... Wait, are you all just going to sacrifice yourselves right here and now? Like all your life force is going to be part of the tree? That's brutal, but I guess it saves you. Power of prayers is strong. Go to the Genesis tree. Extract their life force. Remember the Big Bang? Good. Harder! Pray harder! I don't even know how that's possible. Open your brain. Pray hard. It's like work hard, pray hard. ba -ding. The power of prayer has entered your wrist.
and grow huge. Turn into the Deku tree. So this whole time they weren't praying hard enough, so it withered away. But now they prayed really hard, and it's revived. Now it's big enough to protect the whole village, instead of this little circle. Oh, they got Thanos. Gonna rebuild the wall too, or is it no longer necessary? We're blowing the mist away from this entire continent. So that whole time you could have been safe, all you had to do was pray. Thank you. Thanks to Vaughn and the people of Rimelm, the Genesis Tree has been revived. Genesis Tree has the power to drive away the mist and to make a raw Siri like me stronger. The mist has left Rimelm, but it still covers the rest of the earth. Many Genesis Trees wait to be revived. Vaughn, let us leave Rimelm together to look for those Genesis Trees. And then revive them too. You better hope there's people around those trees, though. Oh, dead. Don't worry, he's just in a deep sleep. How do you know? How peaceful he looks. He must be dreaming about something nice, like May. <laughs> silence. Like how instead of just putting ellipses or putting nothing, it says, Silence. And our friend Juno, who art in heaven, the hateful things of the Siru took their lives from them. Amen. To Furti, god of the sea, we entrust their bodies. That's littering. On your sacred wings, take the noble souls of our friends to the valley of Noru. May their souls find peace and eternal happiness in the distant valley of Noru. You can light those torches. You can shoot those from a distance. Like a, what do they call that, Viking burial? Or those just keep them floating. You actually finally start pushing, jeez. And away they go. Let's see who goes first. So this must be her dad's. That's why they made it the last one. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Come on. Push harder. Push faster. You can do it. And away. Away. Away they go. Jesus. What's with the big paws? Do you think you're a bear or something? You already knew that was happening. You already saw it happening. Cry, cry, cry. Cry, cry, cry. Tears. Silence. Where are Juno and the others going? Didn't you hear the whole speech the Elder just gave? What's wrong with you? Pay attention. Exactly what the Elder said. You don't know anything. No. Valley of Noru is very, very far away. Yeah, he's basically going on the farm up north. Just like your dog. Me. Those birds have no respect at all. Alright, so it was evening and now it's daytime? How's that work? Genesis tree, Rosiru, pretty important things here in Rimelm. Vaughn, Rimelm is saved thanks to you. You were truly courageous and I thank you again. Oh, here comes the butt. You're not welcome here with the Rosiru. But our precious May, her mother may still be alive inside the mist. If you have pity on May, then rescue her mother. Has there been any indication? Like, did she turn into a beast? Or are you just saying... She lives in a little village like this that's surrounded by mist. Now I'll do everything but that. Even May doesn't know this but. 
May's mother used to work at Byron Monastery. And naturally, we lost all contact with her. As for whether it still stands, unfortunately, no one knows. Because like, you don't really have a postal service here. Absolutely going to punch all them regular Seru in the face. She will only be heartbroken if it has indeed been lost to the mist. Which we don't even know yet. So if it is, keep it a secret. If not, let her know. That's effectively the intro sequence out of the way. Kind of a long one, too. So well, that's basically because games didn't used to have navigation. They didn't tell you where to go most of the time. They would say, here's the name of the location, but they wouldn't tell you where it was. I may play this more in my off time, but that's all for this video. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.